What's going on, everyone? This is Nick here at NJ's Bricks, and today we're going to open some of these Dungeons & Dragons minifigures. I've got three boxes of six here, so I'm hoping I can acquire the whole series. I think the series is 12 figures, but if it's 18, I guess I probably won't be getting all of them. At any rate, we're going to try out the OMG Bricks app again here today and uh, see if it's just as accurate scanning these figures as it was the last time around where I made the video reviewing the app. It worked very well on that series uh so with all that said yeah let's go ahead and jump into these we got 18 different boxes uh to open and yeah it looks like uh we're hoping we get the whole series here hopefully we don't have the same box duplicated three times that would be unfortunate box number one yeah so there's 12 to collect so i'm hoping in these 18 boxes i get all 12 of them let's go ahead and check the minifigure scanner Uh, this one's saying Elf Bard. All right, so we got Elf Bard. We got Elf Bard in there. Strad von Zalvich. Whoever that is. I don't know a whole lot about d and I don't know if that's a specific character in any of the lores. We got uh, our uh, Kokra Ranger. All right. And we've got Dwarf Barbarian. That sounds cool. Zas Tam. Okay. And Mind Flayer. So we do have six different ones here. You can see the minifig scanner uh, works great. I can't believe it can read those little barcodes that small. But at any rate, let's... Uh, you know what? Let's let's keep let's keep opening here, and we'll keep scanning and see how that goes, and then we'll open the boxes. All right, let's see here. We've got so you guys can see how the scanner works here. You just hold it up over the QR code on these boxes. I think it has to be Series Twenty Five or newer, and it just shows you what it is. So yeah, right there, Tasha the Witch Queen. That's another. So, seven for seven on different figs. Zostam, we've already got that one before. Let's see. That's going to go here. We got our first duplicate. The Lady of Pain. That looks in, like I haven't gotten that one yet. So, we're getting close to a complete set. Strad von Zerovich. I think that's going over here. That's the second one of him. Box number three, Geth Warlock. Haven't gotten that one yet, so we're down. We need this three that we have yet to get. Mind Flare is a dupe. All right, so three more to open here. Hoping that we get uh, we get a complete set. I want to be able to make shorts of all of these, so that's, why, that's one of the biggest reasons I'm hoping I can get a complete set so I can show you guys some high resolution footage of all of these. All right, last six. Let's see what we've got. Last six. Let's check it out. Zoss, Tam. That's our third, third one of those. Uh, that one I have gotten the Ranger. That's the second one. Dwarf Barbarian. That's uh, who are these here? Maybe it's a... Okay. I'm going to say, I know I've opened that one already. One's right there. All right. Next up, uh, another one of these guys. All right. So we're not going to get a full set here, but we did get pretty close. Elf Bard was the first one I opened. And another Mind Flare. So... From the looks of things, I believe we are looking at two Elf Bard, three Estrad Von Zerovich, two, can't read that one, uh, Era, Era Kokra Ranger, two Dwarf Barbarian, three Zaz Tam, three Mind Flayers. 
one uh witch queen tasha the witch queen one the what's this one here the lady of pain and one gith warlock so still three we'll be looking for i'll be uh heading back to the store to see if i can find those ones so i can make shorts but let's open the ones we do have here i'm gonna set all the dupes off to the side all right let's uh let's put some minifigures together all right, and we'll be marking off uh, what we do and don't have here. Looks like this guy comes with two heads, which is pretty crazy, but also kind of annoying. Honestly, sometimes when the CMFs come with extra like accessories or pieces that don't connect on to the minifigure, like it's cool, but you got to keep track of them. If you don't have a specific way you display these guys or like even if you do if there's an extra head here where do you put the extra head it doesn't really display so i think it's cool they include some extra stuff like that sometimes but it doesn't always coalesce as a display item <clears throat> so let's see the first one here this is the elf bard which is oh it's 10 here i don't know why i couldn't see it all right let's put this guy together so yeah is it really it just says four Oh, so there's like a male head and a female head is what I'm, that's what I'm seeing here. Oh, there's like a scarf. Oh, I'm putting the scarf on wrong, that's for sure. There we go. Or they want it, they want it this way. So yeah, again, like it's great that you get four facial expressions, but most, many people, not like meticulous collectors, but many people are just going to lose the extra headpiece. There's no like convenient way to keep it with the figure if you also intend to display the figure and you don't want this random head just, you know, like sitting down here on the but that's what I'm going to do for now, so I don't lose track of it. An extra sword is nice, too, but again, no, nothing to do with it. All right. I didn't, I didn't keep track of which of these is which, so we're just going to... Well, I guess I can... Oh. All right, so we got here... This is the uh, Arakokra Ranger. Also pretty sick wings on this guy. All right, let's see. It's got like the uh, Demogorgon legs with some really great, great, great printing. And eagle head. Yeah, this one's dope. Very cool eagle, very cool printing. Uh, nice wings, obviously a custom molded headpiece. And he's even got a dog. So yeah, I'm a fan of that one. Next up, next up here, Dwarf Barbarian. And let's see, a lot of parts, a lot of parts in this one. Um, again, two heads. I mean, kind of curious as to why why they've chosen to do that. I guess this, again, it's probably male and female. That seems to be the case here. So I guess that's cool. I guess it's like in the spirit of D&D, &D, right, that you can make your own character in your own class. You could even mix parts from these different ones to make your own D&D &D character. So I think that is pretty cool. Now I see, I see why they're doing it. It's a little um, annoying to keep track of, like, collector-wise. But I get... I get it. Uh, and this one's got a... Okay, this is supposed to be like a... Torch. And an axe here.
Never seen this axe blade before, so that's something new, at least new to me, perhaps pre-existing from another line that I don't know about. See, like, you just end up with these extra pieces. It's like, where am I, where am I putting these? All right, next up, we'll build the Gith Warlock. I never played D&D, &D, but I do play Magic. They had a D&D &D set a year or two ago. So learned a little bit about it. And of course, uh, probably like, you know, a lot of people that aren't already into this stuff. Stranger Things, one of my only, only real exposures to D&D. Oh, I like this armor piece here. That's pretty sweet. Again, two head pieces. So that's always uh, that's nice continuation of the theme here. And yeah, so it looks like an extra armor, an extra looks like a lot of extra piece in this one. What is what is this weapon supposed to be? Um, looks like this, then this. In this eye, I guess that's uh, it's like a staff of some kind. I'm sure you guys in the comments can let me know below what this uh, is supposed to be, this eye staff thing, because I really have no clue. All right, well, here is here are four of the nine that we got. Oh, this one's got a cape of some kind. Uh, this one only one head, but it seems like it's some kind of monster, so... Genderless or, you know, not, not so important to the character. I like this Stark uh, blue cape. That's pretty nice. This is a classic starched, starched fabric cape. Um, yeah, so I don't know if this was the, the bear, the Baron guy. Or he's got a glass too. He want to drink your blood. And he's got a rat too, so he's bringing the plague. A few left, uh, to open here. Let's mark off this guy. I want to see this one. Mind player. We did open it, so we will see it here momentarily. One of these last few boxes to open. This one here. The Lady of Pain. This one looks pretty crazy. The headpiece, anyways. Like a souped up Medusa. All right. Oh, some little pieces here. Let's see if there's a there instructions. All right, let's see. Mm. Crazy cape piece. Wow. All right, so she she floats. Is that probably why she's sitting on this? She floats is probably why she's sitting on this clear round brick. I don't know anything about the character again, so you guys can let me know in the comments below. Looks like some kind of a jewel or amulet or something here. Ah, so this this uh, headpiece here, pretty sweet, molded. Uh, it's kind of the soft plastic. It's very malleable, so that's interesting. I guess it goes over. I see now. It's a full like it goes over that black headpiece. Well, there's the Lady of Pain. That is pretty sick. That's going to show up cool in the shorts. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I didn't even remember this crazy, crazy cape. All right. I didn't even actually scan this one to see which one it is. But it's this one right here. 
Uh, oh, I was going to put the cauldron on her head. That would not be correct. Well, this is the craziest, one of the craziest hair pieces I've seen. It's a dual molded hair and witch's hat, and the hair is all wavy and curly out the side here. That is super awesome. That's going to be a great part just to have in existence for people's custom minifigures. I love that. That is, uh, of all the different new parts to come out of this minifigure series, and that's one of the best parts about the CMFs, in my opinion, is uh, when they do have new parts for people to help make their custom or individualized minifigures even more cool or more unique. All right, and there is, uh, there's that one. We're getting down to the last couple here uh, that I have yet to put together from what I opened. I'll, uh, I'll get, the, I'll be getting the other three. This is the mind player here. We'll be getting the other three to make sure that we have shorts of everything. Let's mark. We got this one. We got this one. We got this one. Pretty straightforward one here. We got a dress bottom. We got a torso and a pretty cool molded tentacle face. Not a whole lot going on there. And then also, obviously, we have this very cool, it's a brain with four legs. It's like a little animal. I'm sure you guys uh, that are familiar with the game may be able to tell me about that piece. That's why he doesn't have a lot of accessories or a lot else going on. He's got this custom molded little brain animal down there. That's super cool. All right, let's head down to the final of the D&D CMF that we're opening here from this buy. And there's another one with not uh, too much going on. Some pretty cool printing on it. And especially in the face there. Oh, and he's got the... Oh, it's a... It's a Skeleton head, but it's trans red. That's cool. That's got to be. That's got to be new. I don't know what the representation is of there, and like as far as the game goes, but that's a sweet piece. He's got this uh, like fiery attack accessory as well. There you have it. That's nine. Oh, hold on. How could I forget the cape and collar? Very nice dark red cape and collar here. Some nice fabric pieces with these minifigures. It can certainly be a little bit of a pain putting the uh, collar on properly here. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's better. That's better. All right, so yeah, we opened nine different... Dungeons and Dragons minifigures. I don't know why they don't print the names of them here. That would be really appreciated. We got all four in the bottom row. Three of them here. We're missing this one. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, this one and this one. So I'll be heading into the store, scanning up some of the individual boxes and seeing if I can't get my hands on those last three to make sure we have all of them for you guys so that there are high-res shorts of every single one of these minifigures on the channel. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. If you want to be able to see the shorts of these minifigures as they show up in your feed, you want to be subbed to the channel for that. Thanks again, and we'll see you guys next video.